Ah, welcome back. Uh, this is just, to, by the way, of a recap on what's gone on so far. Uh, so far we've started machining the crankcase out of a block of uh, aluminium and we've got that all to size other than the holes that have got to be bored into it for fasteners, screws, allen keys, allen heads. Um, we've got the back plate manufactured from a block and we've got the front bearing housing that supports the crankshaft made and as you probably know from the last video we had a bit of a balls up uh, the fit of this bearing should have been drop in at 200 degrees I don't know if that's Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, which I did with the front bearing, that was all right. But by the magic of science, I uh, managed to make it a dead ringer, and it fits. There's no play; it drops in. So what? Instead of making a new one, uh, if this doesn't work, I'll make a new one. But I've just put a smear of Loctite around the outer ring not my ring but the outer ring of the ball race and um, I say it was just a smear because you can imagine what would happen if you put a blob in there it would uh, it would cause all sorts of problems so we will progress to the next job which I think I'm putting off making this cylinder and piston because it's such a pain in the butt uh, lapping the piston into the cylinder and making sure the cylinder is right I think we'll have a go at the crankshaft and get it mounted so until the next time bye